Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control, and today we're going to talk about stink bugs. Do you live in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, New York, Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania? These states have been plagued by stink bugs. If I didn't mention your state, please leave a comment below because I'd like to know how far these things have spread. But this is the time of year that the stink bugs are gonna start invading your home. What they do is they come in this time of year to hibernate in your home. At the time of this recording, this is the first week of September. I am just now starting to get ready to deal with the stink bug problem. I usually start servicing homes right now, usually within the next week or two, to try to cut them off at the pass, so to speak. So what you have to do to get rid of stink bugs is you need to try to treat preemptively. You need to try to judge the temperatures outside and figure out when would be the best time to treat your home before stink bugs swarm. If you like this video, think about thumbing it up. Think about following me. Uh, I really appreciate all of the great uh, feedback that I get on all of my videos. I, uh, I've got over 10,000 subscribers now. It's just out of this world crazy. I never thought that that many people would be interested in pest control. But today I'm going to go over a step-by-step -step process that you need to take to be able to make sure that you don't have stink bugs this season or next season or the year after that. We're going to try to eliminate the stink bug problem before it's a problem. So to understand, let's understand stink bugs for a minute before I get into this step-by-step -step process. Um, you need to understand why they're coming in. So when the temperatures outside drop below 65 degrees at night, the stink bugs, it's almost like it triggers them where they're like, oh boy, we need to make sure we get inside. It's going to get so cold, but it's really not that cold yet. People still have their window units in their windows for air conditioning purposes. Uh, in fact, I still have the AC on in my house and I've already started to see stink bugs. It's time for them to start coming in the house. Why do they come in so early? We well, don't know, but they're one of the earliest invasion pests there are. So this video is not only going to go over stink bugs, it's also going to go over cluster flies, wasps, and other types of invading flying insects that come in this time of year. So. Cluster flies come in for the same reason as stink bugs. They want to get in out of the winter. Ladybugs come in to get out of the winter. Wasps come in to get out of the winter. The whole reason that the, all these bugs are coming into your home is try to winter over in the wall voids, in your attic spaces, inside your home, maybe even in your crawl space. I've found ladybugs and stink bugs under people's crawl spaces before in the wintertime because they need to get in where it's warm. So why do they do this? They do this because if they stay outside, now they can survive under extremely cold temperatures. And the reason that they need to get in is because if they're outside and it gets cold, they go through like a state of hibernation. So the bugs will hibernate through the winter and the, the chickens, uh, uh, blue jays, all kinds of birds that don't actually migrate will eat them. So it's a food source for birds and animals that don't migrate during the winter time. So it's important to these bugs to get in out of the cold. If they don't, they'll die. So how do we control this problem? How do we stop this from being a problem? So the way that we get rid of stink bugs, flies, wasps, ladybugs, things like that that try to get into your home is we need to treat around the exterior of the home. But first, we're going to prepare our surface for treatment. So how do we do that? If you're one who likes to pressure wash their home and get all the summer dust off the side of the house, now's the time to do it. You want to do it right now. You do not want to pressure wash your home after you've applied the pesticide because you're going to wash away the chemicals. You're going to get rid of everything you've just done to try to eliminate this bug problem. And some pesticides will last 90 days. So we want to make sure we wash the home, get around all the doors and the windows, make sure everything's nice and clean, and then we can apply our chemical. So which types of pesticides do you want to use to try to keep out these bugs? 
there are all kinds of chemicals on the market for the control of stink bugs, ladybugs, cluster flies, and wasps. They all pretty much do the same thing. It's all going to be pretty much the same type of treatment. So let's say you have cluster flies getting in your house. Now what are cluster flies? Cluster flies are a parasite to earthworms. They come in this time of year to hibernate. And the reason I'm going over cluster flies is because people get them and they don't really know why they come in the house. They think they have garbage, they think they have trash, and really it's just the cluster flies are coming in to try to hibernate. They don't actually spread disease or anything like that in the house. They're a little black fly. They look like a house fly, but they're black. They're not green, they're black. They breed off of earthworms. So how do we get rid of these types of pests? So a lot of your pesticides are labeled for all these bugs. What we're gonna use, we're gonna use Alpine WSG. That's the pesticide that we use for exterior treatments of the home in order to keep these pests from coming in. And we're going to do two types of treatments. So normally I talk a lot about crack and crevice treatments in my videos. A crack and crevice treatment is when you treat a crack. So anywhere that a window uh, comes together and it creates a joint, you're going to have a crack like that. You want to treat in that crack with the pesticide residual. So you want to mix your pesticide in a gallon sprayer. You want to treat in those cracks with either a pin stream or a fan spray type spray to ensure that the chemical gets into the crack. Also, we're going to spot treat. Now, this is something I don't talk about a lot on the channel, but in order to eliminate things like stink bugs and cluster flies, wasps, hornets, bees, stuff that try to get into the house this time of year, um, we want to do a spot treatment type application. So if you find that the ladybugs or the cluster flies or the stink bugs are congregating about around one side of your house, typically your southern side or your western side wall usually gets the worst stink bugs, ladybugs, and cluster fly problems. Also your wasps will come in that way too and they'll congregate all over the wall and they'll be like crawling all over the wall and when you try to open your door to go in, a lot of times they'll fly right in with you because they're just all over the door. In those areas, you want to kind of fan spray the wall. Now that's called a spot treatment. You don't want to have to treat the entire wall. You don't want to treat the entire exterior wall of the house. You want to spot treat the areas that the bugs are a problem. So in your eaves, where your eave comes out, you want to treat those areas. A lot of times your wasps will congregate all around the eaves and the soffits because they can feel the warm air coming out of the uh, attic space. And so they'll try to congregate around all those little cracks and stuff and they'll actually show you. If you pay attention and you look really carefully around the outside of your house during this time of year, you will see where the wasps congregate. And it looks like a nest of wasps, but there's no paper nest. There's nothing for them to actually be laying eggs on or anything like that, but they'll be just clustered all up together in one little spot. And so you can use that as a way to find their entry point. These are the places that the bugs are actually coming into your house. They're coming into your house through these little cracks because they can feel the draft coming out of the wall. On the inside of your home, you want to treat around all your windows and your doors on the inside of the house. This will ensure that if any stink bugs, ladybugs, wasps, flies, anything like that make it into your home, they have to crawl around the windows and they have to crawl around the doors and the light source. And so when they do that, they'll die because a lot of times they will fly past you and never come in contact with the outside chemical at all. So you want to make sure you treat around your windows and especially up around the top of your windows. So most of the time you would treat as general pest control, you typically treat your window sill where the window actually closes down in that little crack there. But with stink bugs, because they crawl along the top of the window sill, you want to treat the top of the window sill along with the bottom of the window sill because they will go and they will try to squeeze in the top of that window. So make sure you treat those areas as well. And you may find piles, I mean piles upon piles of dead stink bugs, flies, wasps laying at the base of the window from where they've died. Just sweep them up and throw them away. It will give you satisfaction like you would not believe when you see just how many of these things that you end up eliminating from your home. So now that we've talked about how to eliminate the bugs and how to prepare our home, I want to go on, on the one other subject that is probably the worst homes that have problems with 
all of these pests listed. Stink bugs, ladybugs, you know, cluster flies, wasps, all these things. Homes that have that do not have central heat and air. Or they may have central heat, but they don't have air conditioning. And instead, they have window units in their windows. If you can, I know it's early in the season, and you've got plenty of, plenty of hot days left before the year is over, or before the uh, summer is over. You need to be able to bring in your window units. If you can bring in your window AC units, it will save you so much headache on your stink bug treatments. Because treating around the outside of a window unit is extremely difficult. It's very hard to keep the stink bugs from crawling inside the air conditioner from outside. It just, it really is very, very difficult. If you're having problems with stink bugs coming in around your window units, you may want to look in purchasing a newer window unit. A lot of the newer units have better filtration to keep things like that out of your home. You still have the problem where they seal around the tops, the bottoms, and the sides of the window where the bugs can still squeeze in, and you still need to target those areas when you're doing your pest control application. But the problem is, is that they can still get in around your window unit. So um, understand that you will probably have a worse problem. People with window units are going to have a much worse problem with these types of invading pests just because you have such a large hole in the wall that you've created by putting in a window unit. And typically the homes that have window units are in that warm side of the house where the stink bugs and the ladybugs and everything are going to congregate because they feel the warmth radiating off the siding so they crawl all over that surface of the wall anyway and they'll come in around those window units. Keep in mind that these areas are the areas you want to target. You want to try to treat the outside of that wall under the lip of the siding where every piece of siding kind of lips over itself. You want to treat under that, especially if you have lap board siding. You want to treat the cracks where the lap boards meet, to the, meet each other. Um, whether it's hardy plank, whether it's wood, whether it's masonite, you want to treat underneath those uh, lips of every single piece of the siding, especially the horizontal pieces so that they will die when they squeeze in around those cracks. Hopefully, this video has helped you eliminate your stink bug problem for the winter. Uh, if you like this video, think about subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all you guys. Y'all are just the best audience. I've got, the, I've got the best audience on YouTube. You guys are great. I appreciate it. And stay tuned. I'm going to try to do my live streams every Thursday night, and you guys can come on and ask me questions live. So y'all have a great day. I appreciate it, and I'll see you then. Thanks.